So this is a question which came in the year 2025. First of all, I want you guys to pause the video and try to solve it. See, yeah, technically you need around two minutes to solve this with problems like this, but take at least five minutes, okay? And try to solve, try your best to find the answer because uh, in maths, if you really want to learn maths, there's only one way that is trying to find the answer. Finding the answer is not that important. Trying is important. So pause the video and try to solve the answer. Okay, I'm going to give you the answer. Okay, so let's read the question. There is a natural number n. Uh, see, what is a natural number? 1, 2, 3, 4, the numbers like that. In such that, it can be expressed as n is equal to p plus q plus r. What are p and q and r? p and q and r are distinct factors of n. First of all, they are factors of n. On top of them, they are different, different. They cannot be same. They cannot repeat. How many numbers below 50 have this property? So, let me uh, check. First of all, the first natural number is 1. But of course, I cannot use 1. Why? Because I at least need 3 uh, factors. 1 have only 1 factor, the gold number. So, 1 cannot be touched. In fact, the numbers like 2, 3, 5, they also cannot be touched. Because they are prime numbers. Prime numbers only have two factors. 1 and 2 for 2. For 3, 1 and 3. For 5, 1 and 5. So they also cannot be used. Because we need at least three different factors. So all the prime numbers are also eliminated. Now, so basically we are looking for composite number. So when you look for 4. 4 can be expressed as 1 into 4 or 2 into 2. So I have to take three of them and... Uh, so, the factors of 4 will be 1, 2, I don't have to repeat that, it's pointless, and 4. I cannot, there's only 3 factors for the number 4. I cannot add them to make a number that is equal to the number because 4 itself is equal to the number. So, even that is not possible. Now, if I look at the number 6, the factors of 6 are uh, 1 into 6, 2 into 3. Yeah. So, if I look at the factors of 6, they are 1, 2, uh, 3 and 6. There are 4 factors for the number 6. And if you look carefully, you will find if we take these numbers 1, 2 and 3, they are factors of 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3. That is simply 6. So the first number which satisfies this rule is the number 6. Now, if we forward, go forward, you will look at the number 7, that's a prime number, so it will not come. 8, let's check 8, 1 into 8 or 2 into 4, that's it, right? 4 into 2 is same thing. So the factors of these numbers are 1, 2, 4, 8. I cannot take 8, of course, because that's a big number. Uh, it, it will become 8 itself, 4 plus 2 plus 2. That's only 7, so I cannot use 8 going forward. 9, 1 into... 1 into what? 9. Yes, 3 into 3. Even here I cannot. Like 1 plus 3, no. 10, the factors are 1 into 10, 2 into 5. Here also, the, we only have very limited factors. The factors will be 1, 2, 5 and 10. I cannot add them to make 10. Let's move forward. We have 11 is a prime number. If you look at 12, the factors of 12 will be 1 into 12 or 2 into 6 or 3 into 4. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12, 6 and 12. There are too many numbers. So let's see. Mm, 6 plus 4 plus 2, 6 plus 4 plus 2, that is 12. In fact, if I just zoom out or if I look at the previous things, I check the numbers from 1 to 12. Only two numbers satisfy this condition. First one was 6. Second one was 12. Interestingly, both are multiples of 6. So, I think, I think we are basically looking for the multiples of 6. Just to test my theory out, I am going to take the next multiple of 6. So, this was 6 into 1. This was 6 into 2. I will take 6 into 3. And that is 18. Let us uh, write down the factors of 18. 1 into 18. Hmm, 2 into 9. 3 into 6. Is that it? Yeah, so the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 8. Now, yes, here also I can find these three numbers. 9 plus 6 plus 3, that is 18. 
so that is a row basically we are looking for the multiples of 6 so my i have to see all the multiples of 6 from 1 to 50 because natural number so if i just check the number 50 and divide it by 6 how many times will it go uh, 9 times 6 will be uh, 54 so one more or less 8 times 48 balance is 2 therefore 8 numbers will be there which which are multi 8 numbers below 50 will be divisible by 8 uh, for example the numbers will be 6 12 18 and keeps on going till 48 so this is the first multiple of 6 this is the second multiple of 6 this is the third multiple of 6 just like that i will raise the eighth multiple so there are eight numbers from 1 to uh, 50 which are divisible so answer will become option number c that's all it's actually a simple problem it looks scary in fact i wouldn't probably attend this question in the first round because of uh, you know even though it is easy i still have to write this much so that's it guys